Thanks to John Collins, an avionics expert and colleague of mine, I recently learned about a feature that Garmin seems to have added to the GTN XI series navigators and the G500-600 TXI flight displays. Load a VOR approach, and the avionics show a sort of hybrid, a VOR procedure that includes RNAV light guidance, including an advisory plus V glide path. FAA updated the AIM and other guidance a few years ago to allow you to fly the magenta line along the final approach course of a VOR or NDB approach if the nav aid is working and you can monitor the course with a CDI or bearing pointer. I have explained the details and shown examples of this technique in several posts at my blog and in a video presentation and webinar about using GPS while flying conventional procedures and routes. You can find those presentations on my YouTube channel, Bruce Air Flying. But now the Garmin GTN XI units, and I assume their siblings, the GTX and latest GPS navigators, have added an advisory vertical guidance, even to VOR approaches. To my knowledge, this feature hasn't been documented in Garmin manuals or other sources, and it's not clear to me which minimum hardware and software combinations support this feature. You can, however, experiment with this feature in the current version of the free Garmin PC Trainer Suite, available for download from the Garmin website. To test the feature on a fine VFR day in an airplane, I hopped from Boeing Field in Seattle to nearby Olympia, Washington, to fly the VOR Runway 35 approach. It's a typical VOR procedure that offers a DME arc if ATC doesn't provide vectors. My A36 Bonanza is equipped with a Garmin G500 TXI, PFD, MFD, and EIS, a Garmin GTN 750XI, and the GFC 600 Autopilot. Ride along on this video to see it in action. As you'll see in the video, I set the CDI to provide GPS guidance throughout the approach. The number one bearing pointer was tuned to the Olympia VOR, and the Garmin G500 TXI shows a gray preview of the final approach course, which I had set to the inbound course. When the final approach fix is the active waypoint, the G500 TXI shows GPS LNAV plus V on the HSI, and the VNAV feature from the GTN 750XI appears as a Q on the glide slope glide path deviation scale. Note the gray diamond above the VNAV Q. That's a preview of the same glide path marker you see when flying an RNAV GPS approach that provides either advisory or approved vertical guidance. At the final approach fix, you capture the advisory glide path, and the vertical cue becomes a solid magenta diamond, just like the glide path indicator for an LPV, LP plus V, or LNAV plus V glide path. But in this case, you're flying a VOR approach. Approach Bonanza 1546, Fox, just, just near McKen, 4500. Bonanza 1546, Fox shot. Seattle approach, Seattle 23022, say request. Yes, sir, we'd like to do the VOR uh, runway 35 approach at Olympia and VFR conditions, testing some avionics. We have information x ray. Zero, or November 46, Fox shot, Fox 0344, maintain VFR. 0344, maintain VFR, we're level 4500, 46 Fox. Shot. Five and heavy Seattle. Twelve five and heavy red. November zero pop Lima traffic ten o'clock four miles southbound headed for Carroll as well to hold at four thousands of Skyhawk. November four six five seven to contact one zero miles east of Olympia Airport four thousand five hundred. Proceed direct. Actually, you probably already joined in the arc from there. Affirmative. We're flying the arc from McKen four six five seven. 46 Fox, our Roger cleared VOR runway 35 approach at Olympia. Advised when you have the uh, ATIS X ray. We do have X ray, and this will be a low approach, and then we're going to go south to Shahalis after this. 46 Fox, Tron. 46 Fox, Roger. After complete send approach, just maintain VFR. We'll go 46 Fox, Tron. Control 51 Heavy, just so we're on the same page. When you're ready to, you can climb to the TAC 16 routes and altitudes, and I will coordinate for higher than that as soon as I can. 4,200 coming up. We're uh, 
uh, flow checks complete. We're set up for this. We've got uh, approach and tower, Olympia, Seattle. ATIS and uh, CTAF for um, Chehalis down there. Olympia and Seattle there. Number 372, turn left, heading level 4,200, BNAV's active. November 372, after completion of the approach, just by runway heading, maintain 2000. After we get to Joglu, we go down to 1700, that checks. Yes, on the, uh, on the mid. It's a long leg. Minimums are set. We do have a glide path. Showing LNAV plus V, even though it's a VOR approach, it's interesting. One bogey 700 feet above us out there. Right. Our approach mode is RMP path and glide path. One mic power right. Go approach flaps, speed checks. Good reminder from the Number box. zero Papa Lima, descend and maintain 2000. Turn inbound. Glide path is coming. Uh, vertical guide is coming in. Twelve five one heavy climb. Maintain one zero thousand. This approach is offset slightly. V path is armed. Right, two right track face here. Seattle departure. Radar contact. Climb and maintain five. Delta plus V is active. How about that? Number zero pop Lima. Turn left. Heading one six zero. Number 372, contact Coma Tower. Number 264, turn right, heading 130. Number 46, Fox Shot, radar service terminated, contact Olympia Tower. You can return to this frequency on the go. Thank you, uh, switch to Tower 46, Fox Shot. Olympia Tower, Bonanza 1546 Fox, that's about 900 miles south on the EVOR approach. Bonanza 1546 Fox, Olympia Tower, continue inbound, report scoot. Report scoot, Bonanza 46 Fox, we'll be southbound back to Chehalis after this. Bonanza 46 Fox, shot Roger, and you want to continue flight following with a Seattle approach to Chehalis? Uh, affirmative, He's, we're going to stay on this squawk and switch back to him. Roger. Light pass coming in. It's advisory going to 840. One and a half miles to scoot. Quite a bit of bumps today. He checks gear coming down. Three green. Approach flaps, mixtures rich, prop is set at, uh, or set at 25. Tower Bonanza 46 Foxtrot, scoot. Bonanza 46 Foxtrot, wind 3205, runway 35, cleared low approach. Cleared low approach, runway 35, we left or right turnout for us, 46 Foxtrot. Bonanza 46 Foxtrot, you can make a right turnout. Right turnout, 46 Foxtrot, thanks. Glide path captured, 800 to go. Set 2000 for this miss. About 400 to go. Cessna 6530 Fox Trail with the Jet Roger behind the um, mobile there, I headed into your right. Runway 35, taxi via Foxtrot, cross runway 26 at Foxtrot. Just a point, about two miles now. Thank you. Okay, 
approaching minimums. Here they come. The power up to about 21 inches. Hold us there. Disconnect the autopilot. And the flight director. There's the runway. You're coming up. 